So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to palpate the cricothyroid membrane. How do I know that I'm at the cricothyroid membrane? Where is it? Then I go below it. What does it feel like? Anyone know? Series of rings. There's another ring. It feels almost like it's like the letter T. So I'm going to find it. Make sure that I don't contaminate the site. I would swab my site. I'm going to stabilize the cricothyroid. I'm going to stabilize basically the Adam's apple. Make sure it doesn't move because you'll feel how easily it moves around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in. Now that I've stabilized it. 45 degrees. 45, yes. Oh, well, withdrawing. Well, withdrawing air. When I can withdraw air, I know that I'm in. At that point, I would go ahead and I would advance my advance my catheter. Okay. Draw my needle. This is going into a sharps container. Right. I'm going to take the plunger off of my syringe. I'm attaching my 7.5 endotracheal tube adapter. attached to the BVM and I'm never letting go look at it notice how I'm holding it at the base if I let go one second this can pull out very easily and I ventilate from here when you guys will feel it's very hard right now with that yes <laughs> It's going to take a while to force the air in. And what do you think is the problem here? 